you to be in here. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is the girl, Princess Galaxy, and today I'm wearing my XLL shirt because um, I'm repping on this holy day. And happy December! Woohoo! Yay! 2020 is almost over. So I've been thinking about this for a while, and even though K pop concerts haven't been a thing for a little while now, um, <laughs> a whole year now. I thought about this amazing thing that I want to share with you guys. So I usually share stuff about like K-pop concerts and stuff like that and just like K-pop related stuff because I'm addicted. Like I'm literally like it's my drug of choice is K-pop. So today I wanted to show you guys how I make K-pop sandies for like super duper cheap. It's so fun and exciting. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to this channel for more K-pop fun and like the video if you're excited about it because I am. So I got my main inspiration for these a few years ago from an MTV article about how you can make your own like signs and stuff like that and I thought it was super cool so the first time I did it was for Seventeen which I believe was my second K-pop concert. My first was Card and my second was Seventeen in 2017 so that's pretty iconic if you ask me. I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. It's super duper fun and easy and let's just get it. Okay, so I made a list of things that you're gonna need, so pay attention. You will need cardboard, white printing paper, color printer, thick clear packing tape, scissors, and optional are lights and sparkly paper for the edges of your person. So first, you're gonna wanna find a high quality image of your bias. I recommend Googling name HQ or name HD, like I did with Rose, and you want the picture to be as quality as possible, like, you want some HQ stuff. I've, it's recommended that you do full body or like at least most of the body pictures only. Don't get stuff that has like an arm cut out or like, you know, something like that. Like make sure it's my, like the best ones are probably like from on stage performances or photo shoots from the company. Google and Pinterest like came in clutch, at least for me. So Google like the name of your bias HD on Google, and if you can't find anything you like on Google, Pinterest is usually really good too. You can also edit your picture, like if you wanna do a little edit with it, you can brighten it a little more if you want, or turn up the saturation, or lower it on like any really photo app. I use Canva because Canva's dope and it's free, so I recommend Canva too. Now second, you're gonna to wanna to find your image and do what you want with it, and then go to blockposters.com. So, if you guys don't know, it's an amazing website. Block Posters is a handy dandy website that helps you create DIY posters and it's super simple. You upload the picture, put as many pages as you like, depending on how big or small you want your whole thing to be. I recommend three pages, so like three, 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 depending on how long it's gonna be because you want it to be big, but you, like depending on what you're wanting to do with it. If you want it to be small, you can do like two pages or you know, something like that. But it all just depends on what you want to do with it. Like if you just want a small one for a concert or like if you want like a small one to put up in your room somewhere, then that's fine. So after that, you're gonna print the pages out. And finally, you're gonna put them together. So putting it together is actually my favorite part because it's kind of like doing a puzzle. It's like super fun. So basically what you do is you cut the borders off the print outlines and connect it with tape. Front or the back is fine. You cut the outline of the person, leaving some room for them to emotionally flourish, as you should one or two inches if you're using lights to make more spaces on the edges. So next what you're gonna wanna do is put the cardboard together, put the cardboard together in the back of it and create a backing for the picture by outline. I'm using a knife, it's that serious. Using a knife is amazing because get the sharpest knife you have and just start going at it because it's literally like you can get precision and also look like a psychopath. Connect the cardboard to the person via tape on the edges. It's so easy and so fun. It's not really like a system to this part. It's just making sure that the backing is on the front. So if you fold here, 
and it's like kind of like a crease out here. You can just cut it. It's like easy as that. I love doing this. I love doing arts and crafts. What up, me? I love doing arts and crafts. It's so fun. So that is it. Look at these beautiful outlines. Oh my god. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. Yeah! You guys think, wow, it's pretty good, pretty big. I'm not pretty sure how, I'm not sure how tall it is. Babe, can you guess how many feet this is? Eight feet? Okay guys, well I guess it's eight <laughs> feet tall. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if you wanna see more of me, Rose, and my K-pop crackhead bullshit, you can subscribe, because I know you wanna see more of me, or maybe not. Okay. Maybe you don't. Shop at Staples. Shop at Staples. All right, love you guys. Bye.